Okay, if you remember on the last video, we pretty well stopped at the village of Hawkins and uh, did a, uh, a drone shot of the recreational area for the neighborhood, and that's where we're going to start this video. And as we back away in our golf cart, you can see the neighborhood recreation, I guess that's the recreation center, uh, a little different than it is up here. That's their postal station and recreation area. Now we have the same thing. There's the, uh, the sign for it right there. We have the same thing here, uh, but uh, our postal station is where the adult pool is at. I can only assume in that district, which I think is like 12 or 13, that it's still the same down there, but I could be wrong. I'm not familiar with their rules down there. Straight across the street is going to be uh, another big add-on. They're working over there. Uh, here to the left, as we're heading closer to uh, the villages of Hawkins uh, Recreation uh, Station area, uh, there's more construction going on there in the village of Hawkins. It's a very nice day. It's in the 70s uh, that day. Today was, um, I forget what day we done this, but it was in um, early part of February. And as you can see, the, the palm trees are in on the street. Uh, that's Megason Road. The golf cart trail on that side uh, pretty much follows Megason Road, which should make it much easier, especially for newbies, to find their way around. If you follow Megason Road golf cart trail, uh, the opposite direction in which we're going, eventually, if you hit the tunnels correctly and make the right turns, uh, you'll be downtown Brownwood. It's not that hard at all. Now, to the left is more building in the village of Hawkins, but as you can see, there are many uh, homes that are already completed. And as we continue on, we're going to come to a, uh, a couple of areas where there's a barrage of tunnels. Now, that is what could be confusing for people are these tunnels. It was confusing to me a little bit because I'm not from that area, so I have to learn them just like everybody else does. It only takes a matter of time, and if you live in this area, driving your golf cart from one area of town to the other area of town, you'll be so familiar with this uh, that uh, you won't have any problems whatsoever. I'm going to pull over here just a second and let this golf cart go around me because I'm going fairly slow just taking video for you guys. There's no need for me to be in somebody's way, so I'll let him go and, and uh, enjoy his day. watching to the right do you see that massive construction area there to the right that's what you see in the villages that's so unusual is when they start developing an area it's a massive amount of acreage and construction sites and it goes on it just seems like forever and these construction sites here that you see to the right that's not the only one Okay, we're coming up to what could be a little confusing for uh, new people. Hey, it's always confusing until you learn an area. This is the tunnel system. This is just one tunnel system to get to one side of the road to the other side of the road or wherever you're heading. You can go straight here. Uh, that goes into Hawkins somewhere. I don't know where, but we're going to go into this tunnel. These tunnels down here are a little wider and a little taller 
than they are in other per areas of the villages that I've noticed. Now we can turn right or left here. Um, there's signs there on a wall that'll help you depending on where you live or where you're wanting to go. We're going to go left because we're going to go, I believe uh, their regional rec center there is called Avery. I believe that's a regional rec center. I could be wrong about that. You can Google it. You can go to the village's website and double check. Uh, but from what I saw of it, it kind of resembles a, a regional rec center, but it may be a neighborhood rec center. There's a big difference. A regional rec center here where I live in District 10, that is where the sports pools are at. And the uh, regular rec center is where the family pools, that's where you take your grandchildren or people under the age of 30. So this is where we're going and this is what we're looking at. There's new construction there on the left. Apparently I made a wrong turn, so we're heading back. <laughs> It's been a while since I've done these videos and I forget. So we're going back. Maybe I'm on the wrong side of the street here. I'm trying to jump my own memory. I'm laughing at myself. If I don't, who does? Yeah, looks like we're going to go back under the tunnel, maybe. Yeah, we are. So am I going to turn right? Is that where I want to go? Yeah, I'm turning right, so apparently I made a wrong turn. Hey, it happens. I've lived here for a while, but this is a new area. It's not my area either. So when people come down and they're worried about getting lost, eh, don't worry about it. Just uh, get in your golf cart and go have fun and explore. And as you can see on the left, more construction going on there. These houses along this golf cart trail, I believe every one of these homes here along the golf cart trail are still under construction. Uh, these homes uh, are literally hundreds of them that are under construction at any given point. Now there's the regional rec center, or what I believe is the regional rec center um, of Hawkins area, uh, which would be Avery. We did a, a quick drive around the parking lot. I didn't really go inside or get out and do a, a walk and talk. I probably should have, and I might do that at a later date when we go back down there to do some uh, follow-up on some of this construction. And, um, and it may be going down there again to get some drone shots, and um, uh, Papa Pineapple will be doing the drone shots for me. Uh, there's part of the recreation center area right there. It looks like bocce ball. Uh, it looks like some shuffleboard going on. And uh, it's hard to tell what else they may have there. And that little hut right there is where you can get a lot of your equipment. It's free when, when it's open, or you can bring your own. Uh, there's a, that's either a tennis course or pickleball. My guess would be pickleball. Pickleball is big here. There's a picnic area right there, shaded picnic area. There's the pool. Uh, the difference is if that's a regional, that's a sports pool. If it's not a regional but a neighborhood rec center, then that's where the family pool would be, which is where you take your grandchildren or people under the age of 30. 30 people, people that's 30 years old and older can go to the adult pool. And we just do a drive around the parking lot to kind of show you what it kind of looks like. It's new, uh, so their activities are probably at a minimum right now, minimal. Uh, but they uh, they will be doing doing quite a bit of stuff there. As soon as they started filling the homes in and the activities really get cranked up, that, that'll be a busy place, especially during snowbird season. We're getting back on the golf cart trail. And I do believe at this point we're going to start heading back toward the Brownwood area, maybe stopping and videoing along the way. So with that, I'll just sign off and let you listen to a little bit of music. When you're watching these, do you feel like you're in the golf cart with me? Can you see yourself driving a golf cart here? I hope so.
Well, I hope you enjoy this video. We've got a ways to go yet, but I want to drop in here real quick and say, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. It really helps my channel out as far as getting recommended to other people to, to view my videos and possibly subscribe also. And please keep in mind, subscribing to my channel or anybody else's channel is absolutely free. And that's really all we've ever asked people to do to help pay back for the time and effort we put into these videos. It's just subscribe. If you wish to support my channel, you can go to my YouTube page and you can hit the join button. That's 99 cents a month. Not very much. You can go to my Patreon page. I have several levels. Uh, the level 2, 3, and 4. Um, all these videos and many other ones that do not get on YouTube are all advertisement free. Okay, we stopped along the way because I had a question, and um, I asked Papa Pineapples, he's lived here uh, like his whole life, I said, what's uh, the difference between the normal soil that you see over here in this area where they're getting ready to do some more construction, and the red soil, if you notice the red soil, it looks like to me is at the bottom of where, this the base for where they're going to put in a road, or at least that's what I see, but then you see square areas off of that road that also have this red soil it looks like clay but it's not i went over and of course my video didn't come out right something happened i, I picked up a big clod uh of that red soil and it just crumbles apart like sand so it's something that looks to be man-made to me and he said a construction friend of his told him that's how they control uh the direction of water it has something to do with water control to uh, run to wherever they want it to run to. Uh, I don't know. I'll take his word for it. It uh, seems uh, a real unusual uh, process to me, um, but uh, uh, that's, what it, that's what he said it is, and uh, so that's what we stopped here, and that's what we're droning basically for me, not only the road, Megason Road, and, uh, you know, all that kind of thing to see where we're at, but uh, also I wanted to uh, see that red soil and um, how it is. Now, obviously, you can see a road that's coming in there off of uh, the main road, Megason Road there, a trail coming in, and you can see areas over there. But one thing I want you to notice about that whole area down there, did you notice how many wet areas there are? Uh, not only the preserves, but the uh, retention ponds and the lakes. It seems like south of Highway 44, there are much more wet areas down there in that area. Okay, I hate to keep doing this, but I'm going to jump in here real quick. If you'll notice in the top right, you see that cloverleaf 
field there. That is a softball field. There are, I don't know, I don't want to say six of those scattered around the villages. I did a video of uh, softball practice over by the polo field a couple, three, four weeks ago. You can go watch that. There are four fields. That's what makes it a clover leaf. And there are six of them scattered around the villages. It could be more. I'm pretty sure it's like six. Softball here in the villages is big, like 125 teams. Uh, they're very competitive, and I enjoy watching it. If you're interested in softball, it's just another activity that you may want to be close to. That's Lake Okahumka there on your right. There'll be premier homes built on one side or the other of Lake Okahumka.